Built in conjunction with Istanbul's Blue Mosque, the Arasta Bazaar's market stalls were originally created so their rent could fund the Imperial Mosque. Today, the long row of shops sell all kinds of Turkish goods, including carpets, kilims, ceramics, and textiles. Plus prepared foods and tea in the heart of the Sultanahmet neighborhood. An early water purification system for Constantinople was provided by the Basilica Cistern, a historic underground chamber. This cistern, which is roughly the size of two football fields and has a storage capacity of 80,000 cubic meters, is a fascinating historical location. The Blue Mosque, constructed in the 1600s, is one of the best iconic tourist attraction in Istanbul. This stunning building, with intricate blue tiles surrounding the walls, annually draws millions of visitors from all over the world. This lovely little building tucked away in the shadow of Hagia Sophia was designed by Ottoman architect Mimar Sinan on the orders of Jafar Aga, Suleiman the Magnificent's chief black eunuch. Built in 1560 as a school, it now houses a cultural organization that teaches and promotes traditional, traditional Turkish handicrafts. The courtyard is home to the unassuming Jafar Aga Madri's tea garden, where it's possible to enjoy a glass of tea or simple meal. This ornate Rococo-style fountain outside the imperial gate to top Copy Palace's first court was built in 1728 by the Sultan who so favored tulips. The German fountain is a gazebo-styled fountain in the northern end of Old Hippodrome and across from the mausoleum of Sultan Ahmed I. It was constructed to commemorate the second anniversary of German Emperor Wilhelm II's visit to Istanbul in 1898. It was, it was built in Germany, then transported piece by piece, and assembled in its current site in 1900. The Neo-Byzantine style fountain's octagonal dome has eight marble columns, and dome's interior is covered with golden mosaics. The Grand Bazaar, one of the biggest and oldest covered markets in the world, is sure to meet all of your shopping needs. You'll undoubtedly be able to find something to remember your trip, among the food, artifacts, textiles, carpets, traditional Islamic and Ottoman handicrafts. The Great Palace Mosaic Museum, located close to Sultanahmet Square, Houses mosaics from the Byzantine period, unearthed at the site of the Great Palace of Constantinople. Gulhani Park was once part of the grounds of Top Copy Palace, accessible only to the royal court. These days, crowds of locals come here to picnic under the many trees, promenade past the formerly planted flower beds, and enjoy wonderful views of the Bosphorus. Sea of Marmara, and Prince's Islands from the park from the park's northeastern edge. The park is especially lovely during the Istanbul Tulip Festival, when thousands of tulips bloom. The Hagia Irene, located in the outer courtyard of Top Copy Palace, is the oldest church of the Eastern Roman Empire. It was also the second largest church in Istanbul after Hagia Sophia. Hagia Irene, originally means sacred peace, has a special meaning as, as the first place where Turkish museology was born. The Hagia Sophia is a historic church and a prime example of Byzantine architecture. With its sparkling mosaics depicting biblical themes, this museum is without a doubt one of Istanbul's most well-known attractions.
You've come to the right place, if you've ever been interested in the past of gladiators and chariot races. The Hippodrome served as the location of gladiator contests, festivals, festivities, and more. Top Copy Palace's Imperial Gate leads to the palace's first court, known as the Court of the Janissaries or the Parade Court. You can go through the gate for free, but will have to step through a metal detector and have your bag scanned. Istanbul Archaeological Museums are a compound of museums, which consists three major sections. The Archaeology Museum, the Museum of the Ancient Orient, the Tiled Kiosk Museum. These three separate main units are located in the same garden and house the palace collections, formed during the late 19th century by museum director, master painter and archaeologist Osman Hamdi Bey. Istanbul Archaeological Museum, which is first regular museum appearing in the history of Ottoman Empire and in Turkey, has about a million artifacts from a variety of cultures brought from the imperial lands. Built into the wall of Gulhani Park, the 19th century parade kiosk is a polygonal building where the Sultan would sit and watch the periodic parades of troops and trade guilds that commemorated great holidays and military victories. Beautifully decorated inside, with painted walls, stained glass windows, chandeliers and highly polished wooden floors, it is now open to the public as a literature museum and library named in honor of novelist and essayist Ahmet Hamdi Tanpiner. Justinian and his wife Theodora built this little church sometime between 527 and 536, just before Justinian built Hagia Sophia. You can still see their monogram worked into some of the frilly white capitals. The building is one of the most beautiful Byzantine structures in the city, despite being converted into a mosque in the early 16th century and having many of its original features obscured during an extensive restoration in 2007. Any art or history enthusiast would swoon at the collection of the Museum of Turkish and Islamic Arts, which boasts magnificent artifacts that have been collected from many regions and eras around the world, including rare 13th century carpets not found anywhere else. In the center of the Hippodrome, this immaculately preserved pink granite obelisk was carved in Egypt during the reign of Thutmose III in 1549-1503 BC and erected in the Amonri Temple at Karnak. Theodosius the Great had it brought from Egypt to Constantinople in AD 390. On the marble podium below the obelisk, look for the carvings of Theodosius, his wife, his sons, state officials and bodyguards, watching the chariot race action from the Kathisma, the imperial box. After sacking Hagia Sophia in 1204, the soldiers of the Fourth Crusade, tore all the plates from this obelisk at the Hippodrome's southern end in the mistaken belief that they were solid gold. In fact, they were gold-covered bronze. The Crusaders also stole the famous triumphal quadriga, a team of four horses cast in bronze, and placed them atop the main door of Venice's Basilica di San Marco. Running between the top copy palace walls and Hagia Sophia, this picturesque cobbled street is named after the cold fountain at its southern end. It is home to the Carpet Museum, to a row of faux Ottoman houses, functioning as a hotel, and to an undoubtedly authentic restored Byzantine cistern that now operates as the hotel's restaurant. The only remaining built section of the Hippodrome, hints at how monumental the arena was. The level of galleries that once topped this section was damaged during the Fourth Crusade and totally dismantled in the Ottoman period. 
Many of the original columns were used in construction of the Suleimani Mosque. Coming up out of a hole in the ground, this strange column was once much taller, and was topped by three serpents' heads. Originally cast to commemorate a victory of the Hellenic Confederation over the Persians in the Battle of Plataea, it stood in front of the Temple of Apollo at Delphi in Greece, from 478 BC until Constantine the Great had it brought to his new capital city around AD 330. This was kilometer zero during the Byzantine Empire. The starting point of the Via Ignatia, the great road linking Constantinople with the Adriatic coast, and the reference point for measuring distances to the empire's cities. A fragment of the now-vanished arched and domed 4th century structure marks the important spot. Once the main residences, as well as the administrative headquarters, to the mighty sultans of the Ottoman Empire, the Top Copy Palace is a top attraction in every Istanbul guidebook.